Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, no desire back at you. Y'all savvy. Sorry I took some time off. I just wanted people to enjoy, you know, their New Year's, their resolution that they came up with and just, you know, doing what they had to do. But anyways, I'm going to show a song on here by our boys proving the point and my boy Chief Loud doing his thing. But before that, I'm going to send my shots out and I'm going to get into what I'm talking about as far as loyalty. But anyway, shots out to outside the boss. Go ahead and check this dude. I'm going to drop the link. He's doing good things and I think you'll like the way he thinks. Uh, shout out to Compton Chapel. For doing that song roll call I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link you know he shot your boy out when he didn't have to so yeah and to the uh to jesus i'm like g i mean yeah g z u z uh this dude is from germany a lot of people ask me to just you know send a shout out he don't need my help he's already doing way a lot of numbers you know what i mean but uh i like this shit even though i can't understand him it gets me pumped up but anyways into capcom no cam capone news for doing my uh interview yesterday Hey, gracias for that, for looking out to OJ S at Trouble. He got a song called Riding Gangster. And I'm going to go ahead and drop the link to that into the homeboy Chuko. When I get his music, I'll drop it on here. But let me just get into this with uh, proving our point. I think you'll like it. My boys out of North Hollywood. Something mellow, you know. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, you know, people don't really pay attention to these cats, but there's a lot of them out here that got spit, you know. They're not gang related, so. But they grew up in it. Yeah, and I'ma just end it on that. Sorry about that. So I'm not used to the technical stuff and sorry if it took me so long, but I just wanted to talk about loyalty in general. See, uh, the reason I touched on loyalty because I know there's, there's a you know there's a few cats that you know they're really not showing uh, loyalty when it comes to this particular movement that we're trying to push right now, and uh, I'm just gonna give you an idea of what type of loyalty. See, there's two type of loyalties. Let me just you know distinguish these off the back. You got blind loyalty. And you got loyalty. Blind loyalty is no matter what they do, what they say, uh, what they're gonna get into. You follow them. Uh, everything to the letter. I don't give a fuck if this fool's gonna go out and kill somebody. Your loyalty to him is gonna compel you to want to go out and do the same thing, or whether it's robbery or something stupid, uh, or or just no matter what you see, you're still gonna uh, have blinders on to the fact that he's messing up. But since you have blind loyalty, you're gonna continue to follow him. Uh, mostly like gangs, you know. What I mean, a, a a lot of us that have participated in activities, it's just out of blind loyalty. We has so much loyalty to our neighborhood, no matter what we might think is wrong at that time. I mean, it's different. I mean, if it's like rape and anything like that, then, you know, the homie's going to catch it. You know what I mean? But uh, as far as like, you know, willing to participate in whatever and not not really using your your uh the mind that you were giving at, 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 were given as a child. You know what I mean? So that's what I mean by blind loyalty. Now, loyalty, loyalty can be a double-edged sword. The reason I, I say a double-edged sword is because... You know, you can you can be loyal to somebody and then have them turn around and stab you in the back because they don't share the same loyalty as you. A lot of us suffer from that. We're, we're loyal to a fault. No matter what's been thrown before us, no matter how many times they burn us, a lot of us continue uh, to give these cats uh, a chance. And some of us don't. Some, some of us learn our lesson, but it kind of depends on the type of person that you are. Some of us were brought up to give people second chances, kind of like society gives us a second chance. You know, well, most of us that are uh, ex-cons and criminals, you know, they try to whatever. Uh, it doesn't always work. But yeah, that's besides the point. But loyalty also, for people that don't understand, loyalty can also be a good thing. And loyalty also uh, uh, commands a different level of respect. If I see a particular homie that I'm cool with going in the wrong direction out of loyalty, if I'm not willing to participate in that activity, then it's it's on me as his homeboy and somebody that's loyal to him to give him 
uh, you know, the, the business, you know what I mean? I'm not talking about physically, but to be in his ear and let him know that he don't really have to do that. See, a lot of cats, they say that they're loyal, but they let their homeboys go astray. And in most cases, when they could have sat down and just talked to him, see, a real a real person that's loyal to you will sit down and, and, and let you know what's wrong and why you shouldn't do things. You know, when you when you talk to certain homies that you're loyal to and they're, young, and they're youngsters, you know, they got their own mindset. They still haven't uh, grown up to... A, uh, you know, uh, understand that, you know, there's certain things that you shouldn't do after after a certain amount of time. But I mean, you can only you can you can counsel them. But for the most part, they're just going to brush you aside because they're still young and they want to participate in the same activities that you once participated in as long as you were really about that business. See, but when you got people around your same age, you know, what I mean, that that may be going down a dark road, maybe they're starting to get into drugs. And and you as a camarada that that's doing better than him, and not saying that you're on a certain level, but just somebody that already has his mind straight, got the direction in life, and like you know what? Okay, I've did all this, uh, and I see my my homeboy that I got love for that that my loyalty to him is 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 beyond anything. It's on me as a homie to guide him as much as I can. Like I said. Uh, Everybody is gonna do what they want, but at the end of the day, if you can if you can get in your homeboy's ear and shift him from doing something that he shouldn't do, maybe uh it's just ain't the right time. You know what I mean? Or maybe you just don't want to see your homeboy uh, you know, hung or strung out, you know what I mean, or in prison for the rest of his life. So you get in his ear. That's an obligation as a homie. Any anybody that proclaims to have loyalty to you. Is gonna want to see you do good. Now, if that if now if you're on a negative page, then that's different. Then you then you lead with blind loyalty. That means no matter what this dude is gonna do, you're gonna follow suit because it's blind loyalty. But when you're at a when you're at a level to where you're able to understand and di uh, differentiate the fact uh, of negative and positive, you know what I mean. What's what's gonna be conducive to uh, to your life going in a certain direction? What's gonna lead you down a dark road and probably in a cage for the rest of your life? You know, what I mean, that's that's a type of that's when you gotta uh, figure out exactly which route you wanna go. Either you're gonna let this dude uh, hang himself and, and go with blind loyalty and just follow everything that he has to say just because you're just that good homie. Uh, no, you know what I mean. Me personally, I'm 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 gonna there's a there's a certain amount of homies that I had to slide back. Uh, not but not necessarily because they were a bad guy, but I knew that if I continued to follow the same path that they did, it would lead me down a path that I really didn't want to go down anymore. As far as like being, uh, you know, I fought life a few times, but to be locked in the cage for the rest of my life for some bullshit, for something I'm just not really feeling, I just didn't see it like that. So as a homie, I'm going to get in their ear. And that's that's really what it, it means to be loyal to your homeboys. If you really have love somebody for somebody, then you do whatever you can to try to keep them out of jail. It's it's kind of like the simple fact, like some of us have took time for certain homies. I've had homies that have took time for me because, you know, they just got caught up and, you know, and, instead of turning around and be like, oh, it's this guy, you know what I mean? And, you know, and, 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 and turn me in, they chose to take the charge and, and they ran with it. You know what I'm saying? And that's, that's, that right there is blind loyalty, but that's a, ne a necessity at that time. If you're if you're gonna be in that life and, and rocking that way, then understand when you get caught, you gotta roll with the time. But they didn't have to. They could have always went out backwards and said, you know, screw me, and, and went on about their way. And you know, nowadays a lot of fools PC up and uh and, and snitch on people, and they're good. They're still walking the street. So uh, I can't really even say nothing now. They could have did the same thing and moved somewhere and been done with it, but they chose to ride, you know, out, out of loyalty, but blind loyalty and. In, in cases like that, I can understand, you know what I mean? It's just the way it is. You know, I do this and have did the same for them. But when, let me just uh, break this down real quick. When you're loyal to somebody, if you really, if you really got love for that particular homie, then you would do whatever you have to, to keep him from going down uh, a route that he don't need to go. And if that means that you got to be that fucking, the big brother, the harsh one in his ear, tell him. So a lot of times you got to tell people exactly about themselves. A lot of people try to candy coat and sugarcoat uh, certain aspects of this life. But if they just only got in their homie's ear, especially the ones that's willing to listen to them, you don't got to be disrespectful, but to sit down and have a righteous conversation with a homie that you know has no has no business still participating in certain activities. You get in his ear 
uh, as many times you have to. And if after a while it doesn't work, then you got to slide back because obviously whatever you're saying ain't working. But in some cases, he'll have the same amount of loyalty to you. So he'll understand like, hey, look, you know, this dude is doing good. I could do the same thing. That all, and, and, and I'm going to tell you in a, a certain situation, it's like on this uh, YouTube shit. You know, I got a lot of people that ask me exactly what I do, how I did it. And for the most part, I don't have the exact recipe for how my channel start catching subs. I just spoke and I shot from the hip and that's just the way I always talk. There's nothing scripted. I might think of something and feel like I want to talk about it, so I talk about it. But you also got to watch out how deep your loyalty lies because there's some cats that I've... uh. What, what you would call laced their boots. I gave them a, a certain recipe that might work, expecting that they will go another route with it and develop their own, uh, uh, f whatever, following their own subs through their, their struggle, their life, their whatever recipe they use to get on. But, you know, a lot of people have been bringing it to my attention. Certain cats are doing the same exact thing and not just doing the same exact thing as far as like being on YouTube, but repeating every word that I say, just utilizing my whole script. Uh, and it doesn't look right. You know what I mean? But, you know, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you got to be careful on exactly who you're loyal to. At the end of the day, if you're on here and, and I'm helping you out as far as like giving you shots out, that's with nothing. It, that's expecting nothing in return. Uh, we all trying to create a lane. And uh, if I can help you go to the next plateau, I'm going to do whatever I have to because that's what homies do. And that's what uh, 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 I said a good human being does. You know what I mean? You want to see the next person achieve something. But for the people that are, 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 you know, there's only a few of you trying to do exactly what I do. I mean, and not exactly what I do as far as like on YouTube, but repeating everything I say word for word, trying to get my script down to the, the T. You're only messing up in the end because after a while, people are going to think of you as a fraud. See, my whole thing is to create a lane, not water it down. And there's a couple of the cats that's trying to water the whole scene down. So the lane that I'm trying to create, they're they're creating obstacles. See, because when when you see one dude that's coming up, you know what I mean? And then another, uh, another dude try to emulate the same exact thing he's doing. And, and I'm not talking about just, you know, little things, no word for word, uh, that kind of waters down both because if they see one water down, then they see the another one water down. And that's and that's certain reasons why certain homies don't never kick it with each other because it's just the way it is. Everybody wants to have their lane. I'm creating my lane and hopefully, you know, I can get the homies to the next plateau. And anybody else that's trying to really get on, like I said, I, I shout out Crips, I shout out Bloods, I shout out a lot of different people. Gangster Disciples, Mickey Cobras, Latin Kings, I don't care. You know what I mean? If you're trying to get your lane and I can help you. Uh, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? As long as you stay on some positive, she ain't trying to, uh, you know, do too much. I, I, I'm going to help you out. You know what I mean? And uh, that's all I want to, you know, put in. I wanted to really get the shout out to Outside the Box because I think this dude is really doing something good. And to the rest of these dudes that's really trying to do this music, they're really trying to, you know, push the... A lot of people don't want to open lanes, you know what I mean? And they're trying to push these lanes. Like, there's a lot of hidden gems out here that people should really pay attention to. But, you know, they go get overlooked because, you know, the, the industry is saturated with wannabe gangsters and uh and dudes that just, you know, whatever, you know. You got some real spitters coming on, and I will continue to put them down. And there's going to be some that's going to stick out more than others, and that's just... You know, it's just the way it is. Oh, and shout out to King Squad TV. You know what I mean? And for anybody that support me, the ones doing the Cholo Challenge, the homies from Linux, all them. For the ones that really support me, Conejo, uh, uh, you know, and a, a lot of other guys out there doing their thing. Hey, saludos. And uh, hopefully, you know what I mean, the platform will continue to grow. And uh, it won't be about subjects such as loyalty and blind loyalty. It'll be more about, you know, I'm trying to hit politics and everything. There's a lot of things going on. In politics right now, a lot of people uh, refuse to pay attention to because they feel like it, it, it doesn't affect us. But uh, in a broad spectrum, it does. So on that note, you know what I mean? For other people that just came to the channel, my name is Zod. Uh, you see the hats, but I'm, uh, you know, I sell these, but I'm also moving into clothing. But it has nothing to do with any type of gains, nothing. But, uh, you know, hopefully you come on this journey with me and my channel continues to grow. And once again, shout out to... Uh, Cam Capone News, this dude is, is back, you know, interviewing a lot of West Coast stars. He did uh, Spider Loke not that long ago. Just, man, go ahead and check him out. I'm going to get a link to one of his videos, and especially the one that he dropped with me. And uh, uh, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. My name is Zod, and I'm out.